This is Duke University. Hi, I'm Stefan Bloodworth, curator of the Bloomquist Garden of Native Plants at the Sarah P. Duke Gardens. And I'm going to be talking to you today about a few plant species that are fairly unique here in the Bloomquist Garden. And the one that I've got right in front of me here is the Gorge Goldenrod. Uh, its scientific name is Solidago faucibus, and this plant is unique because it was just discovered in the last decade. Most of the plant species in this garden have been known to science for hundreds of years, but every once in a while um, somebody will discover a new species just letting us know that there's still a lot of biodiversity out there that we are really unaware of and how important it is to keep cataloging all of the unique plants in this part of the country. Okay, the next plant we're going to talk about is known as hairy rattleweed. The scientific name is Baptisia arachnifera. And this plant is on the federally endangered list, and it is known from only a few counties in coastal Georgia. It's well adapted to very hot and dry conditions, and one of the ways you can tell a plant that has that sort of adaptation is these very light-colored leaves that are designed to reflect sunlight rather than absorb it. The last plant that we're going to be talking about today is the cardinal flower, Lobelia cardinalis. And this plant is a fairly common plant of wet places in this part of the country, but the reason that I wanted to take some time out to talk about it is because it's an excellent hummingbird attracting plant. Um, I think in the last three days I've seen probably seven or eight hummingbirds on this one plant alone. And it's a, pro pro a prolific bloomer, um, a great way to attract uh, primarily ruby-throated hummingbirds to your home garden. <laughs> Produced by the Office of Communication Services, online at hr.duke.edu.